Hey guys, it's Yoshi Nugai. I know it's been a while since I last recorded, but um, I think it's time I start on Banjo Banjo Tooie. No? As you can see, the starting logo is different. And nice song. Nice song. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna let it go through some of these little tidbits that it shows you before you um actually go in game. Right there, it's showing one of the areas of Island of Hags, which is the main overworld. And unlike Banjo Kazooie, I do not know the names of every enemy. I know the names of all the main bosses, but I don't know the names of every enemy. I should really look it up for when I actually, when I really get into the um, playthrough. And you know what? I just realized I never put myself on doing it to stare on Skype, so I'll do that. Cause you don't want me. I don't want you guys to just like randomly hear me get Skype messages if anyone does message me. This guy, he may look like an enemy, but he really isn't. No, I'm serious. <laughs> He's not an enemy. Yep. I remember my first time playing Banjo Tooie. Uh, never got to play. I never really got to play it when we like we rented it, and I never got to play it that first day. So, like, I couldn't resist. I could not sleep. I could not resist this game. I couldn't. I'm serious. Like, I even, I, like, I, I, I got up at, like, 3, 4 in the morning, went downstairs, because I could not sleep. I wanted to play this game. As you can see, I have a file ready. And here's file 2, 11 hours, 40 minutes exact, 51 jiggies. And don't tell me this is... Yes, it is. I can't get all the jiggies. There's a total of 90 jiggies. I can't get the 90th. I can't. Anyway, let's go to the opening cutscene. I love this this game. This cutscene is ten minutes long, just so you know. Two years have passed since Gwentilda the Witch was defeated by Gwentilda. Banjo and Kazoo. Oh my god, I'm messing up already. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. Good mistress, still can't shift rock. After two years, he still can't move that rock. Which is funny because two years really had passed since that this game came out. All because of that stupid bear. Like they really make it, they really made it the timeline in which Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie were made. Two years passed since Banjo Kazooie came out. Two years passed the game. I'm a player well has much bam bird money or whatever. He's right because the there goes your bird seed money. But no bird seed could be money. <coughs> Don't be so sure, Banjo. Hey look, outside. Everyone? Going to the witch is coming. And she steals some bottles of money. Where? I can't see. Where? Kazooie, I can't see. False alarm bottles. Must have been some shadows. <laughs> Come on, Boneface, let's play. I feel lucky. Yes, yes you do. Oh, look, those rocks have already been 
moved or something. <laughs> we just crumble apart instantly as the Hag One makes its way through. <laughs> Make me sick! I will not rock table. Oh, how shaking. Lots. Perhaps one of us should go take a look. walkway, yes. But from it comes How are you, Blah Belda? Our sister is waiting! Yes, Gruntilda's sisters that you don't even know about until this game. <laughs> the fat one is Blah Belda, yeah. And the, the skinny and tall one is Mingela. Mumbo <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh, looks so disoriented just because his feathers, his head feathers, because of faking, faking being scared. But it's dark outside, and I'll be scared. What a sucker, huh? Come on, Banjo, give me a hand. <laughs> and yes, I've had kind of a cough lately. Didn't feel too well a couple weeks ago, but then it ended up just not going away. Sorry, Mr. I have failed you. Worry, grunty mustn't. Get you out, your sister's will. And the interesting thing is, in that book, what they say is really in there. Grunty sisters, you should not laugh now. Watch as our, our magic blast this rock. It really says that in that book. Like, for rareware to go through that sort of detail, to make it actually say it in that book. I don't know how many people actually realize this, that it does, that's what they say, it really is in that book for the spell. But, it's in there. Pause it if you want, but it's in there. No, 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 this cannot be. What's happened to little old me? Nice grunty looks lost weights you have. <laughs> I hate bones, a body I need. Oh, there goes her eyeball. <laughs> she just puts her eye back in her socket. It's not good. You go tell Banjo. And Mingela spots Mumbo. I'll kick butt then off to the castle. Yep, she's still rhyming. <laughs> you 
you to Kazooie. That's not... And Mumbo. This wraps everything. Everyone! Must run! Quick, Grunty coming! <laughs> Revenge is mine, I cannot miss. Let's see what furry... F that furry fool dodged this. Yeah, because he dodged every other spell that she sent at him, basically. Every other deadly spell that was thrown at his face because of Kazooie! It's all Kazooie who does the work! No joke, look! Spell coming! How does he know this is the spell coming? He didn't even check outside. That could just be the lightning, you know? That could just be the lightning, remember? Like, honestly, it's thundering and lightning. I'm not falling for that trick again. I'm staying right here, Bottles. You are stupid. Stupid and stubborn and dead. Because he's not as strong as Banjo and Kazooie are. Hold on, sis, I'm really there. Just been to blast that bear. Yeah, I I don't know the names of those enemies. <laughs> I've only I only know a couple of the enemies. They don't even some of them don't even show up for late to later levels. No, no, Congo, you stay here. I'll be back. Have no fear. Mumbo's head hurts. <laughs> I really do like Mumbo's new model in this game compared to Banjo Kazooie. Well, at least everyone got out safely. Not everyone. Hang on, where is Goggle Boy? Uh-huh. All looks much unwell. It's worse than that. Gunty's killed bar bottles. He wasn't the favorite ba character in Banjo Kazooie anyway. They're breaking fourth wall already. <laughs> already breaking the fourth wall. Great, I got to pick some more witch butt. Let's go, Banjo. I have a feeling it's not going to be as so easy this time. And oh, was Banjo right? Now, funny thing is, Bottles died, like, right here, and now his body is here. Oh no! Various insects are taking an inner interest in my body. <laughs> my corpse. Da, 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 da. As you can tell, it's a Spiral Mountain theme, but not so upbeat this time. I like this version, though. Da, 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 da. We'll find out who this guy is later. Royston! Royston! I was knocked off the barbecue and ended up. Yeah. 
He was knocked off the barbecue. He's been under a rock for two years, too. Kind of. Uh, okay, um... Here's, here's something. For They made a game. They made a Banjo-Kazooie game for the um, Game Boy Advance. Before it... Basically, it takes place between Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. But, they make no note of it in this game. So it's as if... Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge never even existed. But that's I I I got I got an emulator like I got it on the ROM ROM I got a ROM of it and played it on the um, Game Boy Advance emulator. I'm not that fond of its playstyle to be honest. Like Gruntildus is somehow able to channel her own spirit out of her body into um, this robot that Klungo had made. Because Klungo is like. Not a chemist, but he's a creator. He's. Oh, yeah, he kind of would. You would say he actually is a chemist when you see the boss battle against him. But, um. <clears throat> Um, those are my train of thoughts. He he makes he creates a robotic body for her, which is actually copied again in a later game. And then like Gruntilda kidnaps Kazooie because she is what she always helps Banjo. She is the one that gets him out of all the sticky situations. She is the one who defeated Gruntilda. And um so Gruntilda takes advantage of Kazooie being out of her backpack and brings her to the past. That part doesn't even make sense. Oh wait, no, right, yeah, because what Gruntilda was doing was she wanted, she was trying to make it so that Kazooie and Banjo never met, so she locked Kazooie away. So Mambo used his magic to send Banjo into the past so he can go and get Kazooie, and then they have to do all this other stuff, collecting jiggies and everything like that, learning new moves, which you never even use in this game. And, um, you have to beat Gruntilda. I didn't really get that far in that game. It's actually pretty difficult with those controls. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What ability is Kongo gonna use? Is that? Growing. Nope, invisibility. Okay, there we go. I don't think I've ever failed that so badly. <laughs> Kinda hard to predict where he's gonna go. <clears throat> Nasty barren bird hurts poor Klungo. Who asked for it? Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Yeah, good idea. But you not seen last of Klungo. Klungo. Beat with broomstick. That just sounds so mean. Anyway, um, where is the exit? Okay, it's over this way. <coughs> well, I am gonna end it here. And this has been part one of Banjo Banjo Tui. So. Next, ma next part, we'll be going to Jinjo Village and visiting King Jingling. Until then, 
Bye.